First problem we're going to do is about a tennis player. Caitlin is playing tennis against a wall. She hits the tennis ball from a height of 0.5 meters above the ground with a velocity of 20 meters per second at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal towards the wall that is six meters away. Two questions. A, how far off the ground is the ball when it hits the wall? And B, is the ball still traveling up or is it, is it on its way down when it hits the wall? So I'm going to map this out on the board. Let's look at it again. She hits the tennis ball 20 meters per second at an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal. And it hits the wall six meters away. We're going to do this problem like a standard projectile two problem. Interesting that we will be able to answer B when we set up the problem to answer A. It will become obvious as to whether the ball is going up or down when we try to determine how far off the ground the ball hits the wall. Stay tuned. Very warm today, isn't it, guys? Yeah? Very hot. Caitlin hitting a ball 20 meters per second, 15 degrees, 0.5 meters off the ground. Typical type 2 projectile problem. We've all done this. We've hit tennis balls back and forth. We've hit them against walls. Not a big deal. Not a lot of physics here, but before we determine where that wall is, before we determine that, let's, let's treat this as a typical type 2 projectile motion problem. I want to evaluate this. 20 cosine 15, 19.3 meters per second. 20 sine 15, 5.2 meters per second. Time it takes to get to D max. Velocity divided by g is going to be 0.52 seconds. How long to get to Tx? Twice that. How long does it take? How far will this be? dy? Well, it would be, it will be 5 and then ty squared equals dy, 1.35 meters. Now don't forget this 0.5 meters here. The actual height will be 1.85 meters. That will be the actual height. Okay, the dx is going to be 19.3 times 1.04, that will be 20 meters. Okay, that's it. Let's erase some things here. Let's erase this, let's make this real. This is 1.85 meters, right? That is from the bottom here, the base. This is the actual ground here to the top. And that's going to be 1.85 meters. The total distance is going to be 20 meters. Now, let me erase this here. We know that that is dx. Okay, we know that that is dx. This halfway point is 10 meters. And this halfway point is, I'm sorry, the full point is, the full distance, dx, is 20 meters. Now, this is key. It's said in the problem that 
Caitlin is hitting the tennis ball against the wall that is six meters away. So, if this is zero, 10, 20, it's going to be somewhere in here. Somewhere in here is going to be this wall that she's actually hitting the ball against. Right? This is six meters. Okay? Six meters. Let me make that a little bit better, easier to see. So it would be six meters would be here. Six meters. That's a wall. Okay? Get it? That's a wall. That's the wall. Six meters. She's hitting the wall on the way up. As I said, we'll be able to answer part B before part A. It's hitting on the way up. Now we're going to determine how far up the wall she hit from the actual ground level, 0.5 meters, and then the total. Now, let's just reflect back on how we got dy. We said it was a shortcut. Well, because we're assuming that we added this to it later, this becomes zero if we're talking about it falling from rest. So that, that's initial velocity of zero if it's falling from rest. We're pretending it's falling from rest. We drop that penny. How far is it going to fall? 5ty squared. So we can ignore that. That in this case is, that is normally ignored, but because it's normally zero, but we're going to add 0.5 meters to it. But in reality, this is the way we do it. So it's going to be 0.5 plus 5.2 times 0.52. Minus, it's on the way up, negative g, positive g, minus 5.52 squared. And if you do this out using your calculator, you will easily get 1.85 meters. Easy? Plug in and let your calculator do the work. I can erase this here. Okay, that's actually how we got, you could get dy like that. Clear? Easy? Now, let's put that on hold just for a moment and say to ourselves, how long does it take for the ball to hit a wall six meters away? Well, the time it takes to go along the x-axis at 19.3 meters per second is the time it will take to the time it takes to go at that speed will be the time it takes to hit the wall. V equals D over T, T equals D over V, T equals 6 meters over 19.3 meters per second and that's going to equal 0.31 seconds. So, she hits the ball, it's going to hit the wall 0.31 seconds. Easy? Okay, now, all the work is done. Let's erase this, and remember 0.31 seconds. 0.5 meters plus Vy is... is... 5.2.31 seconds. It's going up, so this will be minus 5.31 seconds squared. dy equals 1.63 meters. So the answer, how far up the wall will it hit? 1.63. 6.3 meters. It hits it on the way up. Okay? Easy? Thank you.